back to my channel. My name is Darian and today I am going to be doing a book haul. So the last book haul I did was in May and these are all the books that I have gotten since that book haul and there are a lot. <laughs> I've been spending my time in quarantine just buying books and it's fine. Um, yeah, we're not going to talk about it. So <laughs> I have, I don't even know how many, but there's at least 20 books here. I've bought most of these myself. Some of them were gifts, but most of them we're not. So <laughs> I just want to get right into it because this might be a long video. But before I start, I do want to mention in case you've never seen um, a video from me before or at least none of my hauls or TBRs or basically any video really is that I very rarely know what a book is about before I read it. So you're not going to get very <laughs> detailed synopses from me because I like to go into a book blind and even when I do know what the book is about, I usually forget it anyways, so it's fine. That's just how it's gonna be today. So yeah, let's just let's just get started. The first book that I have is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I actually have uh, read this book already. I read it for the Bookopolathon hosted by Becca from Becca and the Book, so I do have a reading vlog of me reading this book if you guys wanted to check that out. But I really like this book. I gave it a four stars. It is a murder mystery and basically you have these this cast of characters who are all attending a wedding and you know at the beginning of the book that someone dies at the wedding but you don't know who and you also don't know who killed them. So while you're reading the book you're figuring out not only who the murderer is but who also got murdered. So I thought this was a really interesting twist to the murder mystery genre and I really liked it so I highly recommend this book. <laughs> this is not a wrap-up but there you go. Oh also these first set of books all came from chapters. The next book I have here is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. I know Sasha from The Redhead Reader really loved this book. I'm not sure what it's about. I know it's a YA fantasy and I think there is a hate to love romance in this which is really exciting and I think it follows these two characters on the front who are bone criers, which I think means they like resurrect people or something like that. I'm not too sure, but Sasha really liked it, so I had to get it because of her. <laughs> the next book I have here I am so excited to read. It is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. When I bought this, I hadn't read anything from her yet, but I recently read The Poet X and absolutely loved it. And I also listened to the audiobook while I followed along with the physical book and the audiobook for that book is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. And that book is written in verse and this book is also written in verse. So I'd be really interested to listen to the audiobook for this too and follow along with the book because she's such a good narrator and I would love to hear her narrate this book. So this book is also written in verse and it follows these two girls who are actually sisters but they didn't know that one another Another existed. They share the same father and the father would travel back and forth between them I think and then he ends up dying in a plane crash and that's when they find out about each other and connect and we just follow them dealing with their grief and you know learning about each other and I've heard amazing things about this book so I am so excited to get to this one. The next book I have has one of the most stunning covers <laughs> I've ever seen. It is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. Look at this color. I, okay, this might be a controversial opinion, but I find orange is a really underrated color. Like, for some reason, everyone hates orange, but like, look at this. Don't you feel happy just looking at this? I don't know. And, ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, anyways. So, this is a YA contemporary, I think, and it follows this boy, Felix, who is a trans boy and I think at the beginning of the book some of his old photos are posted online and people refer to him by his dead name so it's him like taking revenge on those people. I think that's what it's about which you know I love revenge <laughs> um, but I've heard amazing things about this one as well so I am really excited to get to this one and I mean again this cover chef's kiss. Okay, this next book also has a really stunning cover that is Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown and this is like a magical realism 
book but it's kind of a memoir also i don't know how to really explain it so it fall like our main character her name is echo brown and i think it is based off of echo brown's life but our main character also has powers which i mean that sounds really cool to me and that's all i know so yeah this cover is absolutely stunning also like this kind of matches my my room you know kind of i don't know but yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited for this one as well. I'm excited for all of these. I don't know, like, everyone always says in their book hauls, they're like, oh, I'm excited for all of these. You know, I don't have to keep saying that, but we are. We're excited, okay? We, we got books. We're excited. Okay, this next book is very exciting <laughs> for me. It is A Court of Thorns and Roses. I always want to say A Court of Mist and Fury, but that's the second one. A Court of... Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first book in the Court of Thorns and Roses or Akatar series. I am slowly reading the Throne of Glass series. I've only read the first two books, but I really am enjoying myself <laughs> reading those books. And I hear that most people like this series even better. So I had to get it. Like, I have to. I'm sorry. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I think. And it follows a fairy named Feyre. And I know there's... Or is she a fairy? Yes, she is, right? And there's another fairy named Resand, and things happen, but you know, I'm I'm here for it. Like Sarah J. Mass, take my money. <laughs> the next book we have is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I am so 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 excited to read this book. This is a romance about these two authors who are both in a writer's block and they go on this like beach vacation to kind of help them get over their writer's block and then they decide to switch genres so he writes literary fiction and she writes romance i think so they decide to write about each other's genres and i'm assuming they fall in love and it sounds really cute and i am really excited to read it so this next book I have is Starfish by Akemi Don Bowman and I have heard amazing things about this book. I first heard about this book from Chloe, from Books with Chloe, and she read this and absolutely loved it and it made me want to read it so much. So all I know is it's about this teenage girl who has a very rough relationship with her mother and that's all I know but I mean I've heard amazing things and the cover is also very pretty for this one and yeah I'm really excited to get to it. Okay so this next set of books are from a book website that I don't really want to name because I don't want to talk about them anymore on my channel. I used to support them, I used to love their website and I would often order books from their website but about a month ago, I mean everyone knows who I'm talking about at this point probably, but they kind of showed their true colors on Twitter and now I no longer support them. But I had ordered these books like a week before that that had happened so this is my last set of books from them. So anyways, <laughs> so the first book I have from there is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I don't know why but I always want to say Jane Eyre by Jane Austen but it, it, obviously it's not Charlotte Bronte. And I've never read Jane Eyre, I have seen the movie that came out like I don't know how long ago but Michael Fassbender's in it and I really like the movie and obviously I want to read the book and this edition is so pretty and like it's purple on the inside I love that and it's you know it's Jane Eyre we all know what Jane Eyre is right I don't remember the movie too well honestly but I remember there's a girl named Jane and she goes to live at this manor and that's where Rochester is and other things happen that's all I remember but this book is really big like it is, first of all the writing is tiny, like I don't know if you can see that, and this edition is like f almost 500 pages, oh my god, almost 600 pages. So this is a big book, so I will get to this one day, but probably not soon if I'm being honest, but I am really excited to read it. So this next book is How Not to Get Shot by D.L. Hewley. I first heard about this book from Ashley from Bookish Realm. Definitely go check her out. Her videos are amazing. I will leave her link down below. And this is another anti-racism book, but it is told in like a comedic way and very like sarcastic and satirical way. So it's kind of like a self-help book and so there's things like how not to get shot you know like advice for black people let me see if I can find another this one says how to not come from a single parent household 
there's how to move into a white neighborhood, how to not be a reverse racist, <laughs> what to name your kids, like it's like a self-help book. I don't know if I'm explaining this properly, but Ashley said it's really funny. So I'm really excited to read this and hopefully laugh and also be educated. That sounds like a good combo. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. This next book I have also has a really pretty cover. You'll notice a theme in the books I buy. I like a pretty cover, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But <laughs> This book is Slay by Brittany Morris. I mean, look at this cover, like... Look at her and then there's the pink and she's like kind of outlined in gold and there's like pixels like it's oh my god it's so pretty. So this is about this girl who develops this video game and okay so this is what I think it is. I think the video game is kind of like a safe a safe space for black kids and then someone dies because of the video game but I'm I don't really understand <laughs> but yeah like someone dies I think and also there's some controversy surrounding the game and people think that the game is like anti-white which like <laughs> anyways so I'm really interested to read this one and I've heard amazing things so yeah I'm so excited so the next book I have is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas I am so so excited to read this book I still have to read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas but I do have that one and now I have this one this one follows a teenage girl who wants to be a rapper and I feel like one of her parents recently died but that might be wrong and I think it just follows her journey trying to become a rapper and I've heard amazing things once again and I am just really excited to read this one once again so the next book I got is Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. This is a another um, anti-racism book. I'm sure you guys have heard of this one by now. It's very popular right now. And I think this one talks specifically about racism in the UK, but obviously there's gonna be a lot of things that can apply to literally everywhere. So I've heard amazing things about this book. I know Lois from Lo Chan Reads really recommends this book. So I'm really excited to get to it. So next we have two books that I got from an independent bookstore that is in my city. The first book I have is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I have also read this book and I really really loved it. It is so cute and heartwarming and I mean it also deals with difficult topics like definitely trigger warnings for death of a parent and outing and I think those are the main ones but yeah this book is just so cute all I love all the characters they're so like like especially our main character Liz she is just so funny and she's so likable I love her so much so this follows our main character Liz and she dreams of going to the school to pursue music but at the very beginning of the book she finds out that she didn't get a scholarship and she lives with her grandparents and doesn't have enough money to pay for the school on her own so she signs up to run for prom queen and prom at this school is like a really big deal I don't know about where you guys live maybe this is just an American thing because for my prom like we don't have prom king and queen and all that stuff we just go and like sit <laughs> and then go home like our prom is really like underwhelming but it's this big thing at this school and you run for prom king and queen and then whoever wins wins a scholarship so she wants to win so that she doesn't have to make her grandparents pay for her school and while she's running she meets this other girl who is also running and they form a little romance and it is so cute oh my god I cannot recommend this book enough um yeah and also this cover like all these covers but this one it's purple I love it so yeah the next book I have here is a song below Mo uh, a song <laughs> I almost said a song below Morrow a song below water by Brittany C Morrow <laughs> I got a little confused but this one I don't know too much about the plot but I do know that it is about mermaids and look at this cover I mean what more do I have to say? I, yeah, I'm so excited to read this one. This cover is just amazing. So yeah, I'm running out of things to say, except for that I'm excited. <laughs>
Okay, so these next few books I got from Book Depository and I am still waiting <laughs> for some of my books to get here. I ordered like seven books from them and I've gotten four or five so far. So I'm still waiting for a few and it's taking a long time. So, you know, it's fine. But the first book I have here is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. As you can see, I am still reading this book. I'm almost done though, look. I'm almost done, but I did read most of this book during the latest Raidathon. If you guys haven't seen that vlog yet, I will link that up in the cards. But this book, okay, I'm gonna be so bad at explaining this. Please go check out literally any of Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read's videos because she probably talks about this book in literally all of her videos. It's her favorite book and she will explain this book way better than I ever could, okay? So I'm going to try my best. So we're following our main character, Rin, who she takes this test at the beginning of the book in order to go to this military academy because she lives in a very poor province and she, you know, wants to get out of there and live a better life for herself. And so she takes this test and she scores really high. So she goes to this military academy and a lot of things happen. And I, I don't know how much I should say, but you know, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But basically, this the events in this book are based on events that happened in China in the 20th century, I believe. And this book has a whole ton of trigger warnings. I will put the trigger warnings in the description of this video because I... <laughs> Please check out the trigger warnings before you read this book because there's a lot of really, really heavy stuff in this book. There is, I mean, there is war, war themes, genocide, rape, self-harm, uh, drug use, drug addiction, like there's basically anything you can think of, but I'll put the specific trigger warnings in the description. But I am really liking this book so far. My only problem right now <laughs> is that because like there's a lot of like political drama I guess is that how you would word that political stuff going on and like a lot of the stuff that's happening is just going right over my head I find that I am just not smart enough <laughs> for this book like I'm just reading it and I'm just like I don't know what's happening but it doesn't sound good also our main character Rin is like like I love her but also she keeps making stupid decisions and I'm like Rin <laughs> settle down but anyways, um, that's for my May, May wrap-up, <laughs> for my July wrap-up. But anyways, uh, I bought this book and go check out Tammy's channel. <laughs> the next book I have here is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I still have yet to read one of V.E. Schwab's books, but I am very excited to read this book. I have heard amazing things. I don't know what it's about. Like, re like I'm assuming there's magic involved, but aside from that, I have no idea what this is about. But this cover is really cool, so there you go. Yeah. The next book I have is Bright Storm by Vashti Hardy. This is a middle grade and this cover is so, like, look at this shine. Oh my god. This cover is so pretty. I find middle grade covers, but like specifically UK middle grade covers are so pretty. So I just want to own all of them. <laughs> but I haven't read a middle grade book in so long and I'm really excited to read this one. It says a skyship adventure on the front. So I'm assuming there's something about the sky. I don't really know what this is about, but I saw Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and Jade from J.D. Ray Reads really love this book and I trust their opinions with my whole heart. <laughs> so I'm really excited to get to this one and to get back into middle grade. Okay, I have one more book here and I put this in the wrong pile. So this one is also from the website that we do not name, but this is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This one is a adult fantasy, I think, and I believe like 
the witches in the series, each of them have different powers. So for example, the main character in this book is a truth witch, which means she can make people tell the truth, I think. And then the other books in the series follow different characters who have different powers. Like I know there's one book called Blood Witch, who I'm assuming can kind of like bloodbend, you know, like an avatar. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard good things. I don't know too much about it, but I am excited. I know Jade also really likes this book, so... I'm excited to read it. This next book I just ordered from Amazon, it's not from anywhere exciting, but it is so pretty. Um, <laughs> it is I Killed Zoe Spanos by Zoe Spanos? Zoe Spanos? I don't know how to say that. By Kit Frick and look at it. Look, it has blue sprayed edges. I had no idea when I ordered it that it would have blue sprayed edges. I mean look at this. Look, 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 look. This cover the sides like it's so pretty um do I know what it's about kinda <laughs> it's about this girl not Zoe Spanos but another girl and I think the girl Zoe Spanos goes missing like before the book starts and then this girl like moves into town and they're like this girl is missing and she's like oh <laughs> and then and then they end up finding her body as only Spanos, not the girl, you know? Does this make sense? We don't know. And people for some reason think that she, our main character, not her, <laughs> has, has something to do with it. Something like that. So it's like a murder mystery. I haven't heard what people think about this book yet because it's relatively new, but I think it came out in like June or even July maybe. So I haven't heard what people think about this book yet, but like the cover, it is very pretty so I'm excited to read it. This next book I am so excited to talk about because it was gifted to me by Elise from the Petite Punk. I, I, I mean I can't even tell you like how much this means to me. Thank you so much Elise. Like it made me so happy. Oh my god. So <laughs> this is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, who is also V.E. Schwab, but this is a YA book and I think for YA books she uses Victoria Schwab and for adult books she uses V.E. Schwab, but this is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. <laughs> and I don't know too much about what this is about, but I think there are monsters and I think music is involved. I mean, there's like a guitar on the cover and song. So one would think. But yeah, I'm so excited to read this and I have the note still in here from Elise. I don't want to show it because her last name is on it, but there it is. But thank you so much, Elise. I, I just, I have no words. I am so grateful and please, I will link her down below. Everyone check her out. She's so amazing and I can't believe she sent this to me. So thank you. This next book was also sent to me. This one was sent to me by my best friend Kylie and it's The Extraordinaries by TJ Klune and this cover is so pretty and also let me show you guys. Like if you, this cover is, um, the dust jacket is reversible. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out right now, but like you can you can reverse it. That's what reversible means. And I find that so cool. So thank you so much for sending this to me, Kylie. It made me so happy to see this. I <laughs> it was so funny. I sent my best friend a message when Elise told me that she had bought me something and I was like, oh my god, this girl, my, one of my friends from Booktube bought me something. And then she was like, I'm just gonna go peruse your wish list. And I was like, well, don't do anything silly. And then this showed up a few days later. Um, but yeah, I ugh, thank you so much. All these books, these <laughs> they mean so much to me. But this one is about superheroes. And I think it's about this boy who writes fan fiction about superheroes. And then they maybe come to life or something. I don't know. I, I really don't know what this is about. But I've heard great things from people who have already read this. And I've heard a lot of great things about TJ Klune. If you guys saw my August TBR, I am reading The House in the Cerulean Sea this month. So I will be introduced to TJ Klune and then hopefully I can read this soon after that one. So thank you. Thank you again, Kylie. I love you. And I have one more book to talk about. I, this actually went by pretty fast. Maybe this won't be like 20 years long. But this book I actually got yesterday and it is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This cover is so pretty. I love Riley Sager's cover because 
cover covers because they all have a very like prominent color featured if that makes sense so obviously this one is green and like lock every door is very purple and one of them is very blue but I don't remember what it's called and another one is very red <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I haven't read a Riley Sager book yet, but I really want to get into his books. But this one just came out this year. I think it came out even last month, and I've heard amazing things from people who have already read this. I'm not too sure <laughs> what it's about. I think there's like a haunted house kind of, but like I don't think his books are paranormal. I don't think, unless they are. But anyways, I know Amanda read this recently, really liked it, so yeah. I'm really excited to read this one. Okay, wait, let me count how many books. There's 23 books, so those are the 23 books that I have accumulated since May, basically. So, um, not as many as I thought, honestly, but, you know, there's still a lot. And I still have, like, at least five, I think, <laughs> coming in the mail. So, clearly my book buying is not slowing down anytime soon, but it's fine, you know? This is how I'm coping with life things, so <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys liked this book haul. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, if you think I'll like them. Let me know anything. I love to hear from you guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family, I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh, if you've watched, okay, let's do an emoji. Okay. <laughs> this one, okay. So, if you're if you watch till the end, put the emoji that it looks like it's like a grid paper and there's a blue line that's going like this. I don't know if that's a good enough explanation. It's in the object section. So, if you can find that emoji and if you're still watching, comment that down below. <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video soon. Bye.